up guys and welcome back of course to another episode of whether or not Pokemon fixed or ruined a Pokemon. Today's episode we're covering Dreadnought and Dreadnought is without a doubt a bit more unique than most actual Pokemon and they are rarely cover generation 8 Pokemon that never really have the chance to cover whether or not they can be better or worse. But Dreadnought is just so different. It is your average route early Pokemon and they tend to be really bad, yet Redno is just not that. He got a Talon Flame situation going on with him, as it does represents a lot more niches than your average Pokemon. First and foremost, the War Rock type, while not necessarily the most unique, it is something that defensively can work very well and defensively can be very, very terrible. Weaknesses to, of course, Electric Fighting Ground and Grass aren't necessarily all that good, but the things that resist are quite nice, Fire and Flying in particular, which is a great thing to have and something that clearly deals with, you know, a talent flame head on. That said, Redno has a really good stat division, 90 base HP, 115 attack, 90 in its defense, and 68 in its special defense, which in contrast with a high HP stat means that it's theoretically a lot bulkier than meets the eye. It's 48 in special attack, while not workable, it is existing, and 74 in its speed, which it could be defined as bad if you want to view this as a, you know, a sweeper Pokemon, but it's not a sweeper. It is, all things considered, a tank Pokemon for 74 in speed. With that in mind, that's quite nasty. Actually, that's, it's quite good. Uh, but in contrast to that, we have abilities that really does allow it to be a lot of things or a lot of things. First and foremost, Shell Alma makes sure you can't get critted, while not the most unique one, it still is a good ability for an anti-lead-ish Pokemon. Uh, but, you know, where it's at is Strong Jaw and Swift Swim. Swift Swim, first and foremost, it's something that allows this Pokemon to be quite speedy, and 74 speed is quite high for a Weather Sweeper, so it rarely will have any issues. You can go adamant and steal out speed base 140 miles with ease. And that's actually quite great. Strong Jaw also allowed to hit really hard. If you aren't gonna use this one as a sweeper or a switch swim user, Strong Jaw is a, you know, your best ability as it does boost your attacks by 50% if it is a bite move of any kind. And consider one of 15 already in its attack. Yeah, this thing damage things and it's speed enough to actually outspeed other tanky Pokemon and it can very, very easily overwhelm and power output its power just above everything. But that is not all. Its move pool is so vast. Like, I can't help but feel the Pokemon who designed this Pokemon and had its Pokemon introduced really, really had a vision of what his Pokemon personally meant to him or her and wanted to full on make this Pokemon as complete as possible. So, what does it learn? Well, Liquidation, Waterfall, I think that's going without saying, and it has Stone Edge, but more, more importantly, it actually has Head Smash. Very few Pokemon cover Head Smash, Rhyperior doesn't have Head Smash, it is by far the strongest rock move there is, and while its HP, like I said, 90 is quite high, the Recall Head Charge is, uh, or Head Smash is, phenomenally awful you know getting what is it 50 percent of the recall onto you but 150 base power it's just impossible to switch into hell i had a dynamite Gyarados almost getting flattened by that situation and that was without life or anything like that it just had the power output with him we also have a unique move in jaw lock which is a dark move which should be 80 base power and it prevents the po opposing Pokemon from switching out. Being able to pull that off and potentially set up with something like Soul Snaps, which is also something this Pokemon gets, it's phenomenal. We rarely have like a speedy Pokemon with setup in Soul Snaps. We also have Iron Defense, and I do believe this gets Rock Polish too, so there's a lot of really good things going on, and I just... I am in awe with this Pokemon because it can do so many things naturally. You can, in theory, sweep a Rock Polish and have um, that uh, strong jaw ability because you get Ice Punch 2 or Ice Fang and get any boost there. Yeah, it's nice. We don't have a jaw offensive move, which is really unfortunate. But besides that, we also have Super Power, we have Revenge. And uh, we have Scale Shots, you can boost yourself with that in mind, which is quite good. And we have Gas Rasset, which basically means that, for example, if uh, the counter here is something like Seismitoe with Water Absorb, Gas Rasset annuls that ability, and all of a sudden, Liquidation will do the damage it's supposed to do. Um, it also gets something I really like with our defense in contrast to Body Press. It's a combination that's not necessarily all that it worked with, but for a defensive Pokemon to be able to pull something like that, 
yeah, it's, it's great. I love it. I think the contrast is actually quite vast. And the finishing off, we also, also have a counter, which means you predict a U-turn and anything like that. You can retaliate with that in mind if you don't want to lock yourself into something. Uh, I think you got Skitter Smack too for this generation, which is you also have Mega Horn. You, you guys hear on me, like, there is some lot of things this guy gets, and it's just. It perplexes me because it's right now resigns in PU, yet if you look at something like Ubers where the game max is allowed, it is actually defined as one of the best rain sweeper in there. You know why? Because its damage output is so insane and being able to Dynamax and its Dynamax move actually allows allows it to set up Stealth Frog with a water move instead of rain. Yeah, there's just so many weird things going on here, and it just, I love it. I think Dreadnought is a phenomenal Pokemon, not only as a Water Rock type, but as a redefined Pokemon when it comes to not only be a Swift Swimmer. It is redefining Swift Swimmer for sure, because it does do a lot more than Cabotops ever has been able to do, mainly because of the high damage uh, stab moves, but also have a really broad variety in its move pool. But it's just, it's speed enough in its own, it doesn't need to be a Swift Swimmer with Strong Jaw, it all of a sudden becomes an anti-lead and can actually do something with that except stealth rocks it's defensive enough to do a lot of things right and just for me personally dreadnought is a phenomenal pokemon and a very underrated pokemon this generation because it speaks volumes when you have a round one pokemon that are doing stuff even in the highest ladder meta talonflame had one of those situations before and it kind of still has but basically when a Pokemon is designed like this, it feels like there is a vision, there is an idea, they want to break through, and the person who introduced this Pokemon and, of course, revealed it to the game, really went all out of making this Pokemon as phenomenal as it possibly could be, with the stamp combinations in mind, and with the stat distribution. I feel this guy is a lot more than meets the eye, and for me, Dreadnought is a Pokemon that absolutely fixed everything wrong with the Water and Rock type, and it does all the roles above average, and that makes it one of the best Pokemon for this generation. While, like I said, it's not a high tier Pokemon, doesn't mean it doesn't work in them because it is just that good. So, with that said, as always, thank you, of course, for watching, and you know, leave your thoughts what you think about Dreadnought. Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? Leave your thoughts down below. So, with that said, as always, thank you for watching, and have a great day, everyone.